I went into NEET examinations, I had not solved any PYQ. That I still believe is a mistake on my part. My first attempt at competitive exams was May I NS it. I could not even revise whatever I had studied. How much do you think Dr. Nidresh is the role of, you know, being well versed with the PYQs or the PYTs is for cracking any kind of an exam, be it the NEET PG exam or the INICET? Sir, very important. I'll, I'll share my ranks with you across the various entrance examinations. Okay. My first attempt at competitive exams was May INSET. Okay. I had given it on the backdrop of just completion of internship mm -hmm. and my for me all the heavy duties were towards the very end. Mm -hmm. So I could not re even revise whatever I had studied mm -hmm. and with one or one and a half months remaining towards the entrance examination, I, w I started solving PYQs. Mm -hmm. Somehow, because I was not able to revise, I found them really tough mm. and I felt completely lost doing that because I felt that even I am getting basics question wrong, which many students are actually answering right. Mm. So I felt that okay, I will revise everything quickly and then I will focus on PYQs. Mm. And I tried my level best, somehow that did not happen. Uh, my revision took too long and I went into INSET without uh, doing any PYQ. Mm. I, r I ended up getting a rank of 205. So I felt that it's pretty decent rank considering I could not, you know, uh, have an exam specific strategy, exam oriented strategy. So I felt that rank of 205 is pretty decent. I have NEET examination upcoming mm -hmm. and I can improve on that. So I went into NEET examination this time, starting, beginning my preparation with PYQs. I had not solved any PYQ prior to that. That I still believe is a mistake on my part. Mm -hmm. So uh, I gave NEET uh, one of my sh shots. I did try somehow like uh, as luck would have it or as maybe the stars weren't aligned or maybe I did not put that much effort, maybe I was distracted. I landed up getting a rank of over 1000. That is 1019 in my NEAT PG. So when that happened, I was pretty left uh, much dissatisfied because I was someone who was getting ranks amongst top 25 or top 50s across GTs. But somehow that day did not turn up well for me. And uh, I realized prior to the result as well that this paper probably did not go very well for you. And I have two months remaining for my next entrance examination. I can, you know, stop there or I can give it one of my shots at the examination. So I realized my mistake from last INSET and this time even before NEET PG results were out, I started solving PYQs of AIMS and INSET and AIMS. Last seven to eight years PYQs I did. Uh, and even before NEET PG results were out, I was done with my PYQs. I realized uh, that doing PYQs actually takes longer than what, what one thinks. Mm. Uh, yeah. And uh, after like completing those seven to eight years, I made a list of all the important topics that were asked and my PYQs, I gathered from PYQs, I gathered PYTs. Mm. And then I went into all the, whatever detail I could go in that limited amount of two months of time to get a hold of those topics right. and more than anything else it helped build my confidence going into the entrance uh, examination and definitely in this examination I felt there were lots of PYTs asked uh, to give a figure uh, I think it will be difficult and somehow when when you practice that over and over again you don't even realize that this has been a previous year question somehow it goes into your subconsciousness and you just mark that. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think it's a difficult, uh, uh, to give one figure is very difficult. Probably uh, many of you faculties would actually analyze that and come out with the exact figure of how many were PYTs. But yeah, I should say more, I think 60-70% to say the least nice. was based on that. And you don't get those questions wrong if you have practiced. And yeah, so in that way, if 60-70% mm -hmm. is coming from one source, mm -hmm. So I think that's a... Uh, so if, if I may sir just summarize what Nitresh said, I mean in Cerebellum also we keep pushing students to do the late night PYQ, PYT yes, marathon. Absolutely. And Nitresh made a very valid point that you know everybody thinks that let me complete the course in the end I will do PYQs. But that end never comes. Mm. Right? So it is so important. I mean the reason why everybody thought that let's give PYQs, PYTs questions every day was this. Let's get the student into, into the habit of solving 40 or 50 PYQ or PYT every day and so that they can also revise it. Nitresh got around 85% marks in the INICT exam. Uh, 187 correct? I attempted 197, uh -huh. got 178 correct. 
So if, if we deduct the negative marks, somewhere around 85-86%. And out of those around 70% are coming from the PYQs plus PYTs. So, so imagine the chunk that comes from there. And Goga sir says this, Vivek sir says this, Persar says this. Everybody who has been teaching for decades says this, that the percentage may vary. But they would always form the bulk as of your exam. Say, as Dr. Poor also said, jo aya hai, wahi aega. Jo aya <laughs> Yes. Sir. But then the fact of the matter is that, uh, you know, somebody who is trying to cram only the answers of the PYQs is mm. not likely to succeed. Yeah. Having yeah. a strong foundation with the kind of effort that he has put in, supplemented by the regular practice of the MCQs. And I think uh, Dr. Praveen and uh, Sir would also agree. I mean, uh, if you just look at the social media groups of uh, cerebellum as well that uh, there is a lot of students who are giving a testimony to the fact that their ranks have actually improved by leaps and bounds mm -hmm. so from the people getting an initial rank of let's say a may exam or a neat exam of thousands of ranks mm -hmm. to now getting a three digit rank or a four digit rank as well is something that they have drastically even for net pressure from 1000 to one suddenly yeah. so i think i think what what used to be the importance of pyq now that's the importance of pyq plus pyt right you, you have to build on the concepts yes. as well right so I just uh, realized uh, Dr. Praveen started on the group uh, one thing which is called manifestation. Yeah. <laughs> so that is an excellent thing uh, yeah. on our students of the Cerebellum Academy, they are on the Telegram group. So yes, we have given them manifest that what was your rank last time mm -hmm. and what you are expecting in the coming week. Yes, sir. So you have to work hard and you have to prove that you will get that rank. And, and all the students are watching this video yeah. irrespective of what platform you follow and it doesn't matter. Whosoever yes. is the teacher whom you like or a friend or a family yeah. member, just, just send a message. And, say and, and write it down on a paper that uh, I want this rank in NEET exam and paste it on your wall and daily keep on saying that. Sir, a beautiful thing happened yesterday. I got a message on Instagram and it was some student who got some good rank, 200 or something. And the last message, the last line was, Kuch samaj nahi hai, sir, kya karo? <laughs> So I just replied him that, see, from kuch samaj nahi aara kya karo, I don't know what to do, to the message sir, thank you, I got selected. It just took two months. Absolutely. Right? So, so it's so beautiful to see all these things. I yes, think everybody sir. should watch that video wherein sir talks about that concept of stupid faith. <laughs> so the stupid faith phenomena, may that work for each one of you watching this video and uh, may all of you be benefited by it. Sir, yes. also it's so lovely to see Dr. Netresh mentioned at the start, he's an average student. Mm. So all the average students, please listen carefully, but also focus that he had a focused strategy. Mm structured preparation for his final exam so keep that in mind being average won't matter but your focus matters